this is Big Russ for Redneck Reviews and Project Concept. And you've seen all my toys, but I'm going to show you my wife's. Because uh, I had a friend text me one day saying they got this car in at a dealership. And I needed to come check it out. Went, saw it, knew what it was. Price was right. The wife needed a car. Done deal. Took her up there the next afternoon. Bought the car. So, that being said, this is my wife's car. It's a 2009 Scion XB RS6. What that means is Release Series 6. Uh, every year since Scion came out, they had a special edition model. They called it a Release Series. And 6 being the 6th one they made. They made about 2500 each year. And they had special features to each one. For 2009, it was absolute red, a custom grill, special hubcaps that say release series, and if you'll go around to the other side, I will walk them through the inside. Like I said, this is my wife's daily, but right here on the dash, you can see it's serialized number. Another great, or another feature for this car, um, I want to say 2010 was the last time they did this feature, and that was the color matched interior. The seats and the door panels were matched to the outside of the car instead of just being gray. The only other feature this car came with that you could not get on a standard Scion XB was navigation. Now this is running MSN Maps, which is so horribly outdated when it came out in 2009, it's not even funny, but it still works great. And, you know, my wife loves it. It's gotten her, uh, who knows how many thousands of miles in the almost four years we've had it, three years, three years we've had it. We've put, we bought it with about 65,000 miles on it. And as you can see, it's up for, uh, yeah, 130,000 miles. So we put set, almost 70,000 miles on this car in three years. And my wife loves it. Uh, earlier this, or about this time last year, we did a brake job on it. Uh, I pinstriped it for her, which it's not the best in the world because this was the first time I've ever done pinstriping which you guys have seen what I did on my dash, but we came around this little body line and went straight up to the headlights. And I think it looked, came out looking pretty good. Uh, there are some dings and dents and scratches and whatnot. And that's what, that's what you expect out of a, you know, a Toyota product. They're meant to be used, not necessarily abused, but it's a vehicle you can live with every day. And we bought it because we needed a vehicle to haul the family around in. Uh, we've done very few upgrades to it. The biggest one that we've done, we put an LED bulb in the reverse light. If you notice, there's only one reverse light on this car, which was weird, but that's Toyota for you. Um, they did the same thing with this as they did with the first generation XB. And they just used the pre-existing model from Japan, turned it into left-hand drive, slapped Scion badges on it, and shipped it over here. Uh, overseas, this is a Toyota Corolla Rumion. And it shares a lot of the same features aside from the front end. I personally love the way the Rumion looks compared to the XB. It just has this more aggressive look to it. But, uh, as you know, I put those uh, Op 7 Blitz HIDs in my car, and my wife saw it and had to have them, so her car got them too. <laughs> and that was her thumb, if you couldn't tell what that was. It wasn't a penis, I promise. Uh, this car came with these... Uh, Halo projector headlights, which aren't the best. The stock headlights are actually better. 
but with the Blitz HIDs in there, it made a big difference. Uh, the only other modification we've done to this car is actually right here behind the grill, and you can see them plain as day. Those horns are actually off a Lexus LS400. Uh, we went to a pick and pull to pick up some parts for the Dakota, which you guys have seen in a few other videos. And uh, she's like, I want my car to sound a little ballsier, a little more aggressive. So we put the Lexus horns on. And it has a little more aggressiveness to it, to that little, that standard little Toyota E that came, you know, standard. Um, and of course, I dipped her valve cover red to just kind of match. <laughs> it's filthy. Like I said, she dailies this. Uh, this car gets washed maybe once a year, maybe. Still, because the cops like to pull me over. Yeah, it's when, it, when it's clean, it is obnoxiously red. I, I got mean, pulled over three times when I washed it. Yeah, so uh, her car stays perpetually dirty. Uh, it is actually a brighter red than the S10. I love it because it kind of fits her attitude. She didn't believe me at first, and then she kind of saw what I was getting at. But uh, that's it, guys. Please uh, like, subscribe, leave me some comments. Uh, share my videos if if you think somebody would enjoy them. Um, ask me some questions. I did that headlight video because one of you guys asked, hey, can you do a video about this? I have no problem doing that if I can do it. You know, If I can't, I'll say, hey, <laughs> I've been trying for the last two weeks to figure out how to do this video. So um, that's it, guys. Have a wonderful day.